What's up guys and welcome back for another Star Citizen video. In this video I'm going to be explaining the best place to land your Reclaimer and the best place to sell your CMAT. Now, if you're newer to the game then uh, you probably won't recognize what these, uh, you probably never even landed on these pads before, but uh, prior to, uh, I want to say like 315 or 314, all of the station pads were outdoor but uh, they changed it to being all hangar based. The, uh, as you can see right here, we're at Hurl L5. There's a very specific reason I picked this station, but you can see here that there are four pads there. There's two shorter ones, two longer ones. The one in, in question that we're going for right now is pad four. And the way that the game mechanic works is as long as you have all of your landing gear on one of these pads, then you're able to refuel and all that, but you will not be able to soar the reclaimer here there is just uh these are uh, they leave these out they let these in the game so that you can essentially kind of you know pit stop larger ships to uh, refuel them and this is very handy for if you're doing the whole like living on uh the reclaimer or living on any real big ship because when you go to refuel and you have to take like 20 or so minutes to land planet side it can be uh, kind of obnoxious so it's not even really a tight fit, right? Like, I could have came over a little bit to the left, but this is perfect. This is all you really need to do right here is just kind of land right there. And you don't even cover the other pad, so it's great, too. If you come up this far, the elevator will actually be, uh, won't even be off the uh, the platform, so you won't have the EVA at all. But like I said, if you are newer to the game, then the way these pads are is they do have an elevator up to the station. I mean, as long as you have all your landing gear on here, then you can sit here and uh, refuel. Refueling can be kind of bugged sometimes, and then that's just not from a Redeemer thing, that, or that's not just a Reclaimer thing. But uh, if it's not working for you, then shut off your engines and then go back into your Moby Glass and uh, hit that. But most of the time on the live server, I don't have any issues. Um, I just kind of like hit it and then go about my business. And then when I come back to my ship, I will uh, check it again. And just make sure it's all good but yeah this is uh it's pretty awkward it's pretty obnoxious but yeah, as you can tell it's uh it works right so next thing i'm going to do is i went out and got like three scu of storage and i am going to go in here and prove that you can sell your salvage here as well while being on the pad like this which is very very which is very very handy because like I said, you can get really good at flying this ship, but the when you go to land like planet side, then it gets really time consuming, um, depending on you know how the server delay is or whatever the case may be. The other option you have for the uh, reclaimer is landing at Grim Hex, but even though Grim Hex does have a a hangar for for the reclaimer, it is camped by players who will just um, target those ships. Um, last time I left uh, Grim Hex, actually, before I even got a vulture out of the hangar, I just literally opened the doors, and I was already targeted. I got away because I knew exactly what I was going to do. Um, the best thing to do there is just go and have your quantum drive spooled. Um, it's a little more difficult with the reclaimer because the uh, hangar for a reclaimer opens on the top side. So people can just be up and around and just, you know, kind of mess with you there. So... But with the Vulture, I was able to actually, like, even though it was target locked, I was able to spool up my Quantum Drive and I just jetted out in between the asteroids and uh, gunned it out to my Quantum War Point. Um, it's a little more difficult with their claimer doing that because it's slow moving and also you have to be very mindful of all the asteroids that surround Grim Hex. So I don't really recommend Grim Hex. And also, Grim Hex is a little bit cheaper or a little bit lower price on the uh, CMAT at about 5.9k as opposed to 6k. But. I'm kind of looking around here because it's, it's very interesting because I think back when I started playing Star Citizen and my little ship barely uh, was just like a little dot on one of these pads and now I look at this and I'm like, I can barely fit on it. Make sure you keep an eye on the uh, the pad you're on when you land. It's on the wall there and also just look at the uh, the elevator panel when you go in. So we're on pad four. When we get up here to the lobby, I'll actually show the... Uh, the uh, ATAC terminal here so you can see that you can't even store it. It won't even show up. The ship is just too big. You can't summon it here. You can't deliver it here. You can't do anything with this ship here. You can see here it's not even on this list. So, And there's an interesting thing about this is the, um, the Harbor Master does not care how long you stay on that pad. As long as you don't get disconnected, you can literally keep that 
reclaimer on that pad for as long as you want. So we're going to hook the corner here. We're going to go up to the Galleria. The uh, admin shop is really right here. You just come out. It's to the right. We're going to go in here. So what I usually do is I usually land or refuel. I come up here. I sell my salvage. And I'll hit the hospital to refuel or to get my... See right, right here? It'll show up. You just sell it. Three. You know, just you know, a little 18K. No big deal. So I'll usually sell my salvage here. And I'll go back downstairs. Hit the hospital to get my hydration and my nutrition up. And then... Uh, head back out to pad but uh this is one of the stations only one of the very few stations that i've found that i can still see mat at and i normally go out and do like five hammerhead missions at a time which is a really tight fit um i'm just letting you know like i had uh containers stacked in that reclaimer very precariously i used the balcony on the top to, i put uh boxes on the balcony and then I'll put them down in the chute hole um, at the very uh, far end of the processing room. And then I'll just stack them up like two layers. And I'll start at like the, where the chute is. And I'll just kind of work my way towards the elevator. Try to box my, literally box myself in. So whenever you have like, that was like, my last run was like 7 million. It took me like an hour and a half maybe. And a lot of that was just because I was taking my time with processing. But my runs on the reclaimer are usually about 7 million. And whenever I get to that point where I'm done, I want to make sure that I can get that stuff sold and in a relatively uh, fast time. So normally, normally what I'll do is I'll just come here to hurl all five. I'll land on pad four, go in, sell it all, and be done and off to the races. The other reason I'm kind of still, I've used this uh, station a lot actually for the uh, Vulture because of the fact you can sell CMAT. Um, you can also just kind of hang out on this pad. I've hung out on this pad before and just kind of checked out um, contracts and just really kind of just, you know, use it as a parking lot for the most part. So I'm not using hydrogen or whatever. But, yeah, I think uh, with the, the the Reclaimer is definitely the, the uh, lead ship for this patch, this 3.22 patch. I think there's a lot of probably new Reclaimer pilots out there who are still getting used to landing this thing in atmosphere and still getting uh, used to like finding out where they can dock and everything. I wanted to make this video specifically to help those guys be able to sell their uh, salvage and uh, not waste a whole... I'm all about efficiency. I don't want anybody to waste their time like um, landing. Even if you're really good at flying the ship, it's just it can be like a real big time sink landing in places like Lorville or Area 18 or anything like that. So... I usually just you know get back to the ship here and then uh, check fuel, make sure fuel and um, restock and repair all went through and everything. And then I'll usually kind of just hang out here and look for my next uh, my next contract. I still do fee contracts uh, aside from the uh, the free uh, hammerhead ones, but I, I suspect those will get nerfed in the future. So thank you for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.